Hi everyone, Radhe Radhe. So in this video, we're going to talk about the importance and the process of switching your emotional state when you're not feeling good. Um, I, I kind of touched upon it last yesterday. Um, when you're not feeling good, then you allow yourself to feel good. You allow yourself to feel through that thing. And then you move, you switch. So now switching, um, switching your thoughts, switching your emotional state that comes from those thoughts is, uh, is the crucial part. So yesterday I talked about letting yourself go through that, you know, like let, letting yourself. So last night I was having that and we have that every few days we'll have that. So just to set expectations, don't think that you'll have it once a month or once in a year or something like that. No, the sad is going to come in um, as a wave, like every few days. And then the happy is going to come in as a wave every few days. So when you're in sad, then you stay, you allow yourself to go through that sad. So last night I did that. I watched a movie and I was just not, not feeling good. And then I'm, I woke up this morning and, uh, I, I was still feeling the, like I'm feeling much better, but I have been still feeling a little bit of like those thoughts coming in which are creating just unnecessary, unnecessary havoc in my life. Like I'm, I'm seeing that it's completely useless. It's a complete waste of my time to think those thoughts over and over again. So then I've been switching. So how do, how do we switch that? When, when you're out of the throes of the sad, you give yourself a little bit of time. Usually it just takes like to go through the wave of the sad it just takes a few seconds literally like a minute or two minutes or something so you give yourself two minutes and then you can start to do this switch process or you can just give yourself an evening just allow give yourself an evening of sad but during the sad do not allow yourself to make yourself wrong i've, I've talked about it yesterday um no this is going to pass and am, I am going to get to a place where I'm going to feel really strong and really good and things are going to be working out for me. So know that, right? And we're going through this. We're going through this so that we can function. We can do our karm yoga so that we can function, so that we can do what we need to do and we, we don't have to worry about the results. And this way we can and we can dedicate everything to God and to Krishna. And this way we can be out of the sinful reaction of karma and, and all of that. Um, and so we can function. Otherwise, we just allow, we just get depressed and we don't do anything. Now, to switch out when you're focused on switching out, this is the process that I use and this is the process that works really great. First of all, it's to recognize and to understand that these thoughts are a complete waste of time. They are horrific. They are, they're, they give absolutely no benefit because you've thought these a million times before and these, these keeping on thinking is not going to help you in any way, shape or form whatsoever, right? So you, First of all, you recognize that, you understand, you think, okay, this is the thought that I'm feeling and it's giving me so much, it's giving my ego so much boost. I'm like, yes, I'm right. And I'm talking to this person in my head and I'm like, yes, this is why I'm right and this is why I'm right and this is why I'm right. And you're, it's, it's feeling so good and it's feeling so addictive. And to understand that, to get to the awareness, this is a false ego thing that is feeling good and I'm feeling right and I'm feeling like all of that, it is a waste of my time. It is an absolute total waste of my time and I do not want to do it. Step one, understanding, knowledge. Knowledge is power. Step two, switching out of it. How do you switch out of it? You say, you tell yourself, I am not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to think like this. I'm not going to be in this situation. I'm not going to waste my time. I am not going to allow myself to let my life slip by right in front of my very eyes to try to hold on to my false ego because it's stupid. So making that decision that I'm going to switch it out and, and then calm down, slow down, like just completely get to as much of a meditative state as possible. Like one minute, two minutes, you don't have to do wherever you are. Just sit, breathe, quieten the mind as, as best as you can. 
for a few moments and then think of something else that you want to do. Think of something good. Think of something positive. Think of either something that's, you know, something good that has happened in your life that you can be grateful for. Bring your heart to a state of gratitude or think of something that brings you joy. I want to do this today and this is going to bring me joy. So I'm going to do this and I'm excited at the thought of doing this. So focus on, on, the, on the good things that you're going to do right now. What can I do next? Next. Right now, what can I do next that will bring me joy, that will bring me growth, right? Either I'm going to follow my diet, so I'm going to do this. Maybe I'm going to try this new recipe or I'm going to, you know, I'm, I'm going to um, eat, eat this uh, healthy thing today or I'm going to plan out so that my day is more productive. So let me just like think, OK, how about I just go there and then I, I do that and then I do that. And it just, it just makes me feel better to think about all of that and plan because then my day is way, way more productive or um it just like a, this is a project I've been working on and I've been super excited. Like right now I've been on, on a project of uh, reading the Gita in a fast way. So what I've been doing is and I started with chapter three because chapter two was too daunting. It was too big. So I'm just writing down like each verse, just the translation and I'm using the original words. So if they use Brahma or Karma Yoga, I'm not translating that as Prabhupada does as devotional service or supreme or whatever. I'm just using the word Brahma. So I'm, I want to do that. It'll be another hour I'll be finished with chapter three and then I'll be able to go through these verses in English with the English translation with the specific uh, Sanskrit words um, untranslated and um, and then I'll be able to understand what to, because it seems so repetitive right so I'll be able to understand what the differences are in each verse I mean yes there are there is a lot of repetition and I'll understand the repetition too but I'll also understand the nuanced differences between them and then I'll be able to understand like, okay, so I mean, there are 42 verses in chapter three, I believe. So I'll, I'll be able to say, okay, verse this is this, verse 10 is this, verse 12 is this, verse whatever in chapter three. And I'll be able to, so I'll, once I write this down, so I'm very, very excited about this project and I want to do this project. So switch out from, oh my goodness, this person said this, this person doesn't work, this, and this is why I'm right, but, but, you, you know, you, yeah. <laughs> if, if you um, decide that, no, I am not doing that, I'm not, I'm not going to allow myself to go there every single time I catch. And I'm not going to make myself feel bad for going there in the first place. Yes. <laughs> the other thing is I'm not going to make myself feel bad for going there. If I do go there, I'll catch myself and I'll be like, yes, I caught myself. Yes, I switched it. Yes, this is great. This is I'm making progress. It is all about making yourself feel good about the situation instead of getting into this depressed mode like, oh, I can't do anything. And look at me after years. I'm, and I've been trying to do this thought switching for years and I'm still getting the bad thoughts. It's not like, you know, 100% okay. But every single time I catch myself, every single time I catch myself, it doesn't matter how many years or decades have passed that you're still uh, having thoughts. You are going to have thoughts. You have spent lifetimes over lifetimes over lifetimes over lifetimes, like billions of lifetimes accruing this kind of stuff. Now, if it takes a few decades or, or a few whatever lifetimes even to get out of it, it's okay. It is totally okay. So, you know, I was having this conversation with a friend yesterday where um, she was like, um, you, you, I do not believe in people like, you know, when, when people get married three, four, five times, you know, if you do the same thing over and over again, that's insanity. I was like, I don't believe that. I don't agree with that. I believe that if you're doing the same thing over and over again, I have done that over and over again for decades. I have done that. And eventually I have switched out of it. So if I hadn't done it, if I'd just given up, I think that's insanity. So even if I'm doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result, as long as I'm doing it, I'm at some point going to learn, right? At some point, it'll be like, okay, this pain is way too much. This is ridiculous. I'm going to change. If I don't do it, if I just hide from it, then I'm never going to learn. Then I'm then that's insanity. So yes, it's okay to be insane and keep doing the same thing. Ideally, you want to learn from it. Ideally, you want to make changes. Ideally, you want to make progress. So it's like to me, I think when people get married over and over again, I know that's probably going against the Hindu scriptures. But what I'm talking about is not scriptural. What in this particular situation, what I'm talking about is like making a mistake and then um, failing, and that's okay. And you go back in and you make a mistake again. You fail. That's it. That's okay. You go back in. You just keep going. 
thing. It's like, it's courageous. You just keep doing it. You just keep trying. You just keep figuring it out, how relationships work, how all of that. So, I mean, to me, uh, I, I personally don't think getting married again and again is a bad thing at all. I think it's a great thing because you're you're like, you know, and I'm not, again, I'm not talking from the spiritual perspective. I know that's a totally different thing. Um, so anyways, what I'm talking about is, yes, fail and be okay with it. So it's okay if your thoughts are going towards whatever they're going over and over again so much time later. Just keep catching it. And every time you catch it, you celebrate and you're like, yes, I caught it. Yes, I caught it. Thank you, Krishna. Yes, I caught it. It is your grace because of which I'm doing. I'm not doing anything myself. It is your grace and I'm grateful for your grace. And I am like, I'm just I'm, I'm very, very grateful for your grace. So thank you. Okay, um, that's it for this video. See you um, in the next video. Wish you a day filled with personal and spiritual growth. Rati, rati.